the more that we actually learn about the world we're in, the greater the mysteries. One in 50 American adults had experiences that could point to abduction. It's extremely brave for someone to make their story public in this arena. We'd look away and the ship would light up and the next thing is just boom, it's gone. Men and women have been taken for purposes of reproduction and hybridization. I was abducted. I wake up and there's such a bright light. They would tell me to look in their eyes. They're controlling your thoughts. Inserting this gigantic tube inside of my body, it's painful. I'm now looking who this man is. He is inside of me. It's a screen image of the reptilian. They began the insemination process. A new embryo is created, and that little hybridized embryo already formed is implanted in the womb, and she will just state, they always want the children fetuses. I would go in for my appointment and there would just be no baby. With a very long needle through the belly button, we'd go into the uterus and they would find the fetus. It holds on to the fetus and pulls out. And then they bring this little girl in the room. And he said that she's yours. This beautiful eyes, this face, and I see myself in the child. She was emanating her feelings. I was shocked. It was nobody's right to impregnate me and use me as a laboratory rat. I went from 210 pounds to 115 pounds. These beings that are doing the abducting don't have the same morality as we do. They don't think what they're doing is wrong. Hearing other people's accounts will make you go, OK, I'm not crazy. I'm not alone. Who are we serving? We need to ask those questions. Look, human beings taken animals in the wild and bred them. Can we be bred into something different? The answer is absolutely, of course we can. Educate yourself, be open-minded. Don't be dismissive. People have been taken. You can't ignore this anymore. Make up your own mind. Don't let anyone ever tell you how you think. Sorry guys, not all DTs are good.